Hello everyone and welcome to an all new episode of Make Stuff Monday. I'm Sam Dragonlark and today we're going to be going over how to make a Karopi plushie or Chiropi plushie from Rose Online. Uh, before we get started, uh, I'm going to just drop the white screen. Um, first let me know if the sound is too loud, if it's too quiet, I can change. Um, I have some Rose music playing, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, so let's go over the materials we need. So one of the, the first things you need to do before you make any kind of plushie, especially one that you don't have a tutorial for, um, is some paper because you're going to need to make patterns. So we're going to go over that. This will probably be like a two-part episode because I want to actually go over the creating a pattern process with you guys since it's kind of like a vital part of making a plushie or stuffed animal of any kind. Um, so I have some paper. You can't see it because it's really light, but I have already drawn an outline in pencil on the paper. I'm going to do it in ink so you guys can get a better idea. Um, what you're also going to need overall, uh, pencil and pen. You're going to need your fabrics. Now, depending on the stuffed animal, it'll be different fabrics, but I'm using this green fabric. It'll be a little bit difficult because... Um, <laughs> of the green screen is still but so I'm using a green fabric for the the main Kurobi and then I also have some white fabric you can see and some black fabric for the eyes these are both going to be used for the eyes um, and then I have some fabric scissors I went and got some these work way better than regular scissors regular scissors are not fun to cut fabric with I would highly recommend if you're going to make a stuffed animal or any kind of stuffed animal, more than one stuffed animal, get some fabric scissors. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than regular scissors, but it's just so much less painful. Um, you'll also want a needle and thread. I have this deformed felt monster that I'm using for my needles. I have two kinds of needles. I have a smaller, sharper needle for my regular stitching and then for embroidery in case I decide to do that for his mouth I have a larger one. Um, I just went ahead and got one of these that has a whole bunch of different types of needles um, so I'd be ready for any circumstances I guess. Um, you're also going to need thread. I just have white and black thread here. Now if you're creating your own plushie um, you'll probably want to get thread that's the color of the plushie so it's harder to see the the sewing um, but I wanted to stand out a little bit so that when I am sewing it'll be a little more obvious to those watching where the stitches are going um, I also have some pipe cleaners some Snell stems and I'm going to be using these for his little arms and for his antennas we probably won't get to that today but just so you guys are aware in case you do decide to go out and get stuff these are the things you're going to need. Um, now I have some some alternative things for his face here. We have these um, shank buttons. I think they're, that's what they're called. Um, and you can use these for eyes. They don't really look like his eyes right now, but you can you know stylize. It makes it look a little cuter. I also have fabric markers. You can use these to draw directly on the stuffed animal, which is what I did with the Dragon Saga stuffed animals, is I just drew on their, their designs. It's way easier, but it doesn't necessarily look as nice. Um, You're nice. Hey, Buttercup. Buttercup has joined us. Woo. Um, I also have embroidery fret thread. It's in a giant mess, but I'll untangle it once it's needed. Um, and I'm probably going to embroider the mouth. So you guys are going to get to see how to create like that sort of thing as well. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, Dragon Lark, make all the things. Yeah. All right, so before you get started on any any stuffed animal, um, first go look up online if there's a tutorial of it because that is the easiest way to make one is just to follow along. Indeed it is. But if you don't have, if you have a stuffed animal that you want to make and there isn't a tutorial for it, you'll want to study the creature um, for the stuffed animal. Um, hey, Jump is Mad. We don't have a timeline for when A is fixed, unfortunately, at this time. But keep an eye out on the forums, Facebook, and on the Rose website. All right, so I started out looking at that guy. He has like a little round face, 
Um, so I drew a circle. So what we're going to be doing is you'll also want to study other stuffed animals that look similar to the way you want your stuffed animal to look. Um, so I looked at this pouring stuffed animal. Ugh, I'm going to go grab this pouring right here. I like this guy. You're a pouring. See? He's cute. You can't really see all of them. But he's round, and he looks sort of like the face that I want here. Better kind of hold the pouring. The crow bee face to be. So I'm going to copy that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just focus on the face. I'm going to draw a, uh, a circular sort of shape here. It's not going to be a complete circle. I'm just going to make sort of round the edges of this paper. And we're doing this because it's way easier than drawing on the fabric. Let's turn this around here. Um, you'll want to have your pattern on a piece of paper, for sure. That's for sure something you want. Um, because, like for the instance this, I'm gonna be using this twice. Now you might be difficult to see where I drew it. Let me see if I'm getting a little closer. See, I did that on both sides where I just kind of made a rounded edge and I'm gonna cut, some people don't think we should use fabric scissors on paper, but we're going to anyway. We're gonna go ahead and cut around here. You can give it some space. It doesn't have to be exactly on. <laughs> because it's okay if you make it, it too big. Sticks. Give it some sticks. It's okay if you make it too big, as long as you don't make it too small. Bigger is better. It is. Always. As long as, well. Go big or go home. You gotta remember, too, though, the, the larger the design, the more fabric you're gonna use. So it depends on how much fabric you have. Um, I'm not gonna give it exact, like, perimeter. I just use regular, paper, like, printing paper for this, and so it's about the same shape or size as printing paper. But, um... You can use whatever size you want. <laughs> so the way this works is once you have a design you want, like let's say, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna make two, two fabric cutouts that are this shape. And then I'm gonna end up sewing them together and turning them inside out to be like a round like ball for his head. Um, I'm also going to do this trick that I saw online and I've noticed in other plushies. If you'll notice, a lot of plushies that are round will have sort of like lines through them. Whoa, that's freaking out there. Um, Whoa. Lines through them. And so, from what I can tell, <laughs> we'll see how, how well this holds true. Are you using your intuition? Yeah. Um, you will cut a, like an additional line along these edges and then you'll sew them together so that when you turn it inside out, it creates extra space so it's not so flat. So you're making a pattern first. Yes. Okay. Um, right now we're just going to make the pattern for the head in case you just wanted a groby face. Which the I'm head kind of, that's not true. You just hold the yeah. head in your hand. Um, like, oh. If you guys wanted to go over the pattern for the rest of it, um, we're going to use pretty much the same kind of design for the rest of his body because you see he's kind of like a roundish, a roundish fellow. But we're going to be smaller than this because his head is bigger than any of the other individual parts. Let's see if I can use this. Can you see that? No, you can't really see. All right. So, um, yeah, his head is, is bigger than any of the individual parts. So we're going to be making six pieces, basically. Um, his head and then the individual joints of his body. And then we'll be making pieces for the antennas and the little arms as well. Um, so right now we're going to work on the the head. And I'm just going to show you before we go to the rest of the pattern how you'll cut something out using a pattern. Now you'll want to have pins. Pins are really useful for these. Where What you'll do, and I don't have pins, so it's going to be a little more difficult. But, um, Dang it, Dragon Lark. I know. But what you'll do is you'll, you'll find the piece of fabric you want to create with, and then you'll pin the pattern to it. And then you'll draw around the pattern, and then you can unpin it, and then you'll cut along the outside of the pattern. I don't have a pin. So I'm just gonna have to be very careful. <laughs> you want a pen? A, it'll, it'll, 
No. I have I have a pen. I just oh. don't have a pin. Like oh, a pin. You'll, you'll usually pin the fabric to yes, it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> it's very I'm, useful when you can pin the fabric I'm to following, it. I'm following things now. Okay. All right. So let's do this. It's a little hard to see. I know because it's the green and the green screen. They're not getting along. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the exact green of the green screen. So if you're wondering, oh, is this the right side? Yeah, it's the same on both sides. And I'm using blizzard fleece for some reason. You could use regular fleece. This drawn here, kind of. That's the problem with using this fleece, apparently. So because, especially because I'm, because I'm going to be not pinning it, I need to draw an outline. Also, make sure you are outlining on the side of the paper, on the side of the, the fabric that is gonna be on the inside of the plushie. Some fabrics are different on either side. And you'll wanna make sure you're not drawing on the side that the rest of the world is going to see. <laughs> on this, it doesn't matter because they're both pretty much the same. But if you're using a fabric that's different on one side than the other, make sure you're drawing on the side that's gonna be on the inside of the plushie. Here we go. As a heads up, this is also probably going to be a two-part um, series because I'm being a little more careful with this guy and he's gonna be a little bigger than the other stuffed animals I've created before because Kuropis are adorable. That is all. <laughs> That's all she's got to say about that. Can you guys hear the background music? Let me know if you can't hear it at all or if it's too loud. I will be happy to change the volume. Thanks. Jump is mad. I'm I'm glad I'm doing all right so far. Let's see. Um yeah, there we go. And so when you're trying to make it, am I just gonna yeah, I've just decided that's how that's gonna be. Alright, I went along the edge there. Not necessary, but it's gonna save some fabric. So because this side's flat, I just went ahead and put it on a little bit below the edge so I'd save on fabric. Okay, I'd rather the music was softer than too loud. Um, so you have a couple of things here um, of options. So because this is gonna be exactly the same as the other side of his head, you could just fold this over like so. Like so, you can't see it yet, but <laughs> I'm folding it. You just gotta have to trust me. She's folding it, can confirm. Yeah, so you can just fold it in half or double, and then you could cut it at the same time. That's a little bit trickier, it's possible that you'll mess up, but I'm gonna do it to save time, because we wanna show you guys this as quickly as possible. <coughs> if you mess up, then you guys know not to do that. All right, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm done. Hello, Guitar Hearted. Back right. again. Another thing to remember, cut a little outside don't cut directly on the line, cut a little bit outside of it. It's okay to give yourself an extra space. You can always cut again, but it's much more difficult when you make the, it smaller than you want it to be. That's way more tricky to deal with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut. Ooh, okay, that should be good. Oh, wow, this is so much easier than without. See, I knew I was gonna have to get scissors for this too because this fabric's a little bit thicker than the fabric I was using before. And I knew if I tried to use the regular scissors, it just wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Those scissors don't like to cut um, fabric. They which didn't is, want to do any of your fair. business. They weren't created for fabrics. It's fine. Uh, see, the problem is too, you kinda have to move stuff around a little bit. So if you're cutting them both at the same time and get a little bit tricky, I'm sure this will be fine though. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> it's okay if the sides are she's, a little bit She's so certain. Ragged. I've seen I've seen people do stuffed animals and like every all the lines are super clean. It's not necessary though. As long as your sewing lines are clean, that's what matters. But yeah, cutting the lines clean is actually really helpful too. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm very carefully cutting along the edges here um, to get the right size. 
for a little Kurobi face. You're a little Kurobi face. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> All right, here we go. When do I make sense, Dragonheart? That's fair. It's Monday. It it's is Monday. Monday. <laughs> I know we all make a little less sense on Monday. <laughs> all right. Well, there we go. So we got two pieces of fabric in the right shape we want. Hooray! We really need that like soundtrack thing that'll like make noises for us. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Whoop. That's gonna go over there for now because we don't need it. She's just throwing, oh, wow. just throwing stuff around. You'll know I was wrong if I have to turn back around and get it in a second. Um. So, again, these are the, uh, here we have the two pieces. Now, this is the part that's kind of tricky. We're gonna want to make two cuts on both of these too, so we might as well just keep them together. Um, kind of to either side, sort of where the curve starts. Now we're gonna, depending on how, It'll be as round as it is like far in. So if you just want it a little bit round, you just cut a little bit, but you're gonna wanna make it on the exact same side on both of these, because we want it brown, rounded on both ends. So it would be smart too, if you're smarter than me, to draw the lines first, but that's not what I'm gonna do. So I'm just really? gonna, I'm just gonna cut it. It's do? gonna be fine, probably. There we go. Oh God, now you can never go back. Yep, now so I can it's never go with. back. You'll especially want to draw the lines so that you can see that they're the same on both sides. But it's fine. There we go. That's probably fine. And you'll also want to make sure it's on the same side, same as uh, the bottom and top. It's like there's a line drawn down the middle. There we go. And, oh, oh, that's paper. Don't need to cut the paper. There we go. So now we have these. So we kind of have our first step. This is the first step on our way to making a um, a stuffed animal. Da da da. So his face is going to be a little bit like this. Well, no, that doesn't help. You can't really see. Just believe me. <laughs> All right. So just as a quick, uh, let's do the pattern for the rest of his body. Um, so you kind of see. I might want to make it smaller than the Hello. head, though. Oh, Hello. God. Hello. Well, did you, here. Invite, did you invite her? I did invite her. Oh. Jello Shaker's here. Oh. She loves me. Her? That's true. I'm the best. Oh. Beats the rest. Now, what would make this easier is if you have a ruler, and you'll want to make it, like, significantly smaller every time. But I forgot my ruler at home, which I didn't realize <gasps> right now. So that'll make this much more harder. I might actually do the rest of the pattern for the rest of the body on the second part of it. And what I'll probably do is I'll have everything cut out ahead of time, but then I'll just go over the process of doing it ahead of time. So we're just going to focus on the face today <laughs> because I realize right now I need my ruler for that. Um, because when you're making that pattern, you want it to be um, exactly smaller every middle. time. Yeah, or else it'll look really weird. The thing is I can start making this and it's fine because I still have my original pattern to compare it to. So you'll want to keep this handy when you're doing the rest of your, um, your pattern. But for now, let's go ahead and just make some progress on this guy's face, which is the most important part. I think your face. face is very important. Thanks. This is what happens when you invite both of us in here. You're gonna get all of these in your face. Weird comments. chatter. Yeah. <clears throat> I apologize your for the chat. Your face is weird chatter. That doesn't make any sense. You don't make any sense. Okay. So. <laughs> Where to start, where to start. Let's where to start indeed. I'm gonna do stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna start individually on these guys. Is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start sewing these middle part, the parts that are cut. Don't sew them together yet. Take the individual face parts and then sew them together. And I'm gonna use a back stitch. I'm gonna use a back stitch. Um, which I've gone over in another thread, but um, I'll go over it here again. Actually, should I just use a ladder stitch? Maybe I should use a ladder stitch. Use the favorite kind of stitch you want to use. 
Uh, yeah. Do what you um, want to do. I'm going to use a ladder stitch. So, ladder stitches, you'll kind of go across like this. Do, do, do. We'll see if this is a terrible mistake real fast. Real fast. I like that so much of hard stuff is, hmm, I wonder if this will work. Mm, well, if I know. <laughs> and you'll definitely want to make sure that you're going, on, again, on the side, that it's going to be on the inside, because that way you don't have to worry about like these weird, like, oh my gosh, so much green. Those things? Yeah. Weird whatever it is that you just did? Um, so with a ladder stitch, you'll kind of, you'll go through one side to the other <coughs> side, from the top to the bottom, and then from the bottom to the top. And I'll go back in from the top to the bottom on this side, on the side that I'm on, and then go all the way to the other side from the bottom to the top. I hope that made sense. From the top to the bottom, and the bottom to the top. Jump, jump. Oh wait, is that not what we're doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll do the same thing over here. Please ignore them. It's fine. No, pay attention to us. I need attention. I need to be validated. And then endless crying. <laughs> I mean, you invited us. I did. You I wanted us here. You. you have no one to blame okay, yourself. I can see. So now you can kind of see the stitches on this side. You can see them. Hmm. Let me see this guy. You. What do you look like there? You don't look like someone stitched you. How did you do that? The sewing what? machine. That's how you did that. But we're not gonna have a sewing machine, so. All right, this will kind of make the stitches show, but I'm gonna use a ladder stitch. If you guys wanna use a different kind of stitch, it might be smarter. There are a bunch of tutorials out in the universe about just stitching um, and the different kind of stitches you can use. So I encourage you to look up different stitches and see if there's one that works better for you if you decide to make your own Kurobi plushie. This one's just gonna look a little bit stitchy, but it's okay for him to look like a stuffed animal. He we're not making like animal. a super exactly. We're not making a super detailed guy here. We're making a an adorable plushie. So, and if I mess up, I still have my pattern, so I can go back and create another face. What the fuck is going on here? So, and I'm being really careful because I don't want to stab myself because needles are sharp, guys. Needles are sharp. Let me tell you, that's something I have learned. Make sure you've got your tetanus shots updated. <laughs> Make before, sure to keep a first aid kit nearby. Before creating your plushie. Have you seen this one? So what are you guys doing? I am trying to work on this calligraphy stuff, but I don't know where my pen nibs are, so I'm just using this brush pen I have, which I assume gives me the same sort of experience, but different. I'm playing with Prisma on my phone. Is anyone in chat doing anything creative today? I feel like Mondays go by a little faster when there's creativity happening. <coughs> All right, this would be a lot easier to look at if this color wasn't doing this awful thing. Awful. It's awful, and I don't forgive it. I'm so sorry. I should have used the, just the brown color for the for this, but oh well. Too bad. Um, how much this stuff makes my hand cramp. <laughs> I realize now too, so if you were using a thread that was the same color and being more careful than I am, um, you wouldn't even see anything like on the other side. So a ladder stitch should actually be fine. Guitar Hearted is creating a weird food. What kind of weird food? I almost hesitate to ask. Is it weirder than the gelatinous SpaghettiOs Good. that were brought in that one day? That was so good. That was literally the worst thing. That was so gross looking. I, I ate it though. I didn't eat it. I did not I eat got it. got out of it. One day GM Turfing brought in Jello SpaghettiOs? Pretty much. It was like, imagine a casserole that is gelatinous and is filled with SpaghettiOs and sriracha. Yeah. And highly, cold. Very, highly, very cold. Highly not recommend. Mm. If you want to see your friends make funny faces, that's true. Make it for other people. <laughs> <laughs> don't, just don't eat it yourself. <clears throat> Man, I do not have steady hands. This sucks. Right. I suck. 
So also, if you guys have a sewing machine, use it because it'll go much faster. I'm not sure if you want me to disagree with you. What? Jello Shaker's like, I suck, I suck. I was just making fun of her. Don't oh. forget who got you coffee this morning. Fine. We never heard what kind of weird food guitar heart it is creating, and I'm so curious now. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Oh my god. And the smaller you make the stitches, the better it's gonna look. But the longer it's going to take. So just kind of take that into account. Alright, so I'm gonna tie this off. I created my first part here. You're trying to eat chocolate with ketchup. Mm -mm. Ugh. Highly disagree. No, thank you. Yeah, we have the, here, let me see if I can turn that off. Do you guys know where we turn the chroma key off on this one? Nope. Okay. Remember we had this problem last time? Yeah. So, it's this new program that we have. It's making it difficult for us to turn that off. All right, so see, this should make it so that when this happens, yeah, this will work. This will work, guys. We got this. All right, now I just got to do this four times, and if this was like a YouTube video, like... A regular YouTube Power video. Of YouTube. We would just fast forward past this part. What you don't know is there are people who are frantically trying to fast forward anyway. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Now the most difficult part of this is getting the thread onto the needle. It doesn't matter how many times I do this. Every single time, I'm upset. No work. He is poking the thread at the needle and not the needle with the thread. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's... No, it's... Some people, some people will hold the thread steady and try to put the needle on it. No. And other people will try to... And the other people who are right will try to thread the needle through a steady pin. Oh. Just saying. Some people are interested. Yeah, the chroma key is creating a problem. Maybe next time I'll just bring in the brown. I mean, there are brown corobies. Just wanted it to look great. She wants everything to be perfect. This is such a nice green color. Not that anyone can see. Spray hairspray on the end of the thread. That's a great idea. Actually, that is a great idea. Just cut a blunt end and use your spray. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe some people don't like the way it tastes. I'm like, you you just, <laughs> I just like fighting with you. Typical. I'm sure you knew that already. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go again. All right, so now we're on the second one of these. So you can see it's a bit of a slow process. What I'm definitely going to do for next time is I'm going to have the pattern ready ahead of time. Um, and then. Yeah, but it's great for people who will see it from the start, too. Yeah. And I'll have these all sewn out. It just takes a while. It takes such a long time to do that. Just as a heads up. Yeah. Um, unless again, you have a sewing machine, in which case I think it, it goes much faster. Um, so does anyone in chat who really wants to see this crow be, be made um, have an opinion on the kind of eyes it should have? Because I'm considering, I. There's, there's like three ways I could go with the eyes. I could use these little shank buttons for the eyes. So they're just like these little like dots on his face, which I think would be super cute. I can draw on the eyes with fabric markers, which I think would be like the fastest, but not as like cute way. Or I can use fabric to create the eyes with uh, white and black fabric, which will make it look the most like the actual Kurobi, but maybe not as cute as the shank buttons. I know what I vote for. I know, you want the shank buttons. They're so cute. Yeah. My opinion matters the most. <laughs> Maybe someone can donate their eyes for the Kurobi. Nope. <laughs> All right, Buttercup. <laughs> I'm outy. Oh, I assume that's what that noise meant, was that you were, like, agreeing. No? She's so excited. <sighs> Uh, nope. Hello, RO players, which is interesting name. 
What game do you like to play? <laughs> yeah. Just as a heads up, this is going to be a two-part episode for making the Kurobi, and then after that, the next time I can snag a spot on here, I'm going to attempt to make a pouring crown, which will be a crown made of tiny pourings. I don't see any problems with any of this. It sounds interesting. Another way you can make a pattern, by the way, for something like this, is if you just wanted to make like a, a flat um, pattern and you can do that I found out just by like if I just wanted to make a flat kurobi I could just draw out a kurobi like from the side on a paper and then cut out appropriately from the fabric then sew those two pieces together and um, and you'd have like a flat kurobi. A pillow kurobi? Yeah, you can make like a pillow kurobi. He'd be, he'd be flat. Um, he wouldn't have to necessarily have to be like super flat, but he would definitely be flatter than this. I like making them flush like. Well, I don't know if I did that right. We'll find out in a second if I just tangled all of my thread or if I tied it off. I think I tied it off. Who for not tangling all my thread. I have that problem last night. Tangling thread. Oh, you cosplay, huh? Yep. You cosplay stuff. All right, so we have one side. There we go. And there we go. We got like two of these things tied up. Now we just got to get the other two. I think I'm going to get like just the head sewn together this time. Well, you have next week's slot. I realize that. Actually, no, nobody's going to be here next week. Oh, so, so the week after. So you'll have the week after. Yeah, I which is fine. Really? I won't be here. Well, I won't be here either. I think. Well, it's day off. Well, I know that I won't be here at all next week. Yeah, yeah. I will not be in the state. Hey, why is everyone leaving the state? <laughs> well, you see, well, we heard that you were going to stay. Yeah, there's this so kind of funny smell coming room. from this room. I think it's a dragon. Feel so. free to leave anytime you want to. Why? But you love me. Uh huh. I do. All right. So, <gasps> continuing with what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, actually, real fast, I can even show you. You could just draw out um, like a karopi on a piece of paper. Then you cut that out, and then you cut out that pattern. Cut it out. And then you sew two pieces together and you fill it in with stuffing. And then you would just draw the kuropi onto that shape, like a side view of that kuropi onto that shape. That makes sense. So that is the easiest way to do it. We're all about easy here. Yeah. <laughs> no. I feel like if that, was, if that was true, I would not be doing this by hand. <laughs> didn't call and say you needed a sewing I know. machine, so I didn't I just, bring one of my In case people watching machines. don't have a sewing machine. Uh, they're like $20. Also, <laughs> for the eyes, there's a couple ways you can stick them to the face. So stick it to the face. You can sew like felt, like the black and white felt onto the face. The shank buttons, you pretty much have to either sew or embroider onto the face. Um, or you can glue onto the face using a hot glue gun or fabric glue, which I don't have, so I won't be doing that. But I do have a hot glue gun that I haven't used yet. Pretty much from fear. It's fear that's doing it. It doesn't burn that badly. I don't know. I mean, it does, but it could be worse. It could be worse. There's definitely worse things I have touched. The worst I've ever experience was I was in a hurry trying to sand something with my Dremel and I wasn't wearing gloves. Ouchies! And that could have been a horrendous mistake. Boy, you wanted to keep the skin on your hands? I did actually. I That's did a... manage to keep the skin on my hands because I was like two seconds from dropping it onto <laughs> my skin. I was like, whoa! <gasps> yeah. That's horrifying. No. It was actually horrifying and then I realized I should probably stop. <laughs> Stop 
I actually don't know how to use a sewing machine. Does anyone in chat know how to use a sewing machine? I guess Buttercup probably knows how to use a sewing machine since she owns one. Jello shaker? I have no idea. I've been thinking about getting one though. How to use its pedals and settings. I love this song. It's my favorite song now. I was thinking the other day I should create a Rose Online song. I'm sure there are some out there though. I was turning songs on the radio into Rose Online music when I was driving. I feel like ever since I've listened to Instalock, I just kind of make lyrics up. Yeah. I was like, I can do better than this. <laughs> and then do you? No. <laughs> then I was like, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. That was not an accurate statement. Um, this is a really ugly AM. Thank you. Oops. Another way, by the way, to make a like round uh, face is you can make like a sort of like oval shapes and sew them together. I did that when I created an octopus plushie. That took eight hours. It was very difficult. <laughs> I don't think this will, this actually might take about eight hours actually overall. You're like making a legit plushie though. If I was gonna like be lame and quick about this, I would just get a green sock and then I would like Use, Socks, man. And then, like, use, like, hair ties to, like, section off the body sections. Yeah. And then, like, sew them together so they're just, like, separated, but they're bulbous -y. Mm hmm But that's, that's me being lazy. <laughs> I have also attempted to create sock animals. They did not come out the way I wanted them to. Oops. They are monstrosities that I would never show to the world. It takes, it takes... Practice takes time, takes multiple failures to come up with a good one. All right, so now we have three of these done. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Now we only need one more. Well, now that Jello's here to bother you, I think I'm gonna skedaddle. Wow. <laughs> Goodbye, Buttercup. I'm trying to think about a flying karobi, maybe with wings. Aww. Give it dragon wings. Well, the fun thing about this making a stuffed animal like this is you can always add things to it. Like afterwards, I could always create wings and then have it attach like an accessory or like a clothing Dude, item. just make it like little headbands and stuff. Yeah. I'm making this one way Aww. bigger. What is this? I have no idea. There's a whole bunch of shit in here. Oh, I'm putting that stuff over there away. After this, it was for the R2 live stream. I'm just gonna put it on the pyre. What kind of wings do you think a Karopi would have guitar hearted? We can see about dressing it up Jello for all of wings. all of the occasions. What? Jello wings. Jello wings? Mm -hmm. What the heck is a jello wing? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> that just makes me think of that scary spaghetti. Yes, it's the scary, the scary spaghetti wing. There you go. Man. All right. Why did I want to pick up calligraphy as a hobby? Because it's fun. You say fun? You should write karaoke. Karaoke. Um, all right. Stab okay. myself with the pen, guys. This is the beginning. Do, do, do. But yeah, um, making plushies is fun, and it's something that's kind of better to do when you're like doing something else, like um, waiting for a game to finish patching, or <laughs> watching TV, or waiting for food to finish cooking, I guess, mindlessly listening to music, um, because unless you have a sewing machine, it takes a while to do a lot of this. Fairy How do you wings. Spell right? How do you spell it? Uh, C H O R O P Y. There, I wrote it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Be proud of me. Tell me you love me. Everyone loves you, Jello Shaker. It's there actually it really funny. You suggested that right when I got to the part where I have to practice the C's. So it was. Well I time. knew. You knew. You felt it. All right. So. 
thing you have to do this eight times what I'm doing right now you have to do it eight times and then you have to sew the two pieces together now when you're sewing the pieces together what you'll want to remember is first of all you're gonna be turning them inside out so <laughs> so <laughs> remember that when you decide how to sew it together or else terrible mistakes can be made. I made that mistake when I made was making my starry Lulu plushie for Dragon Saga. I made that mistake and I won't make it again. I won't make it on the Kurobi plushie because that's not a mistake you can go back on. I mean it is, but I mean you just have to start all over. That's how you go back. <laughs> I don't understand how these bees are made. I mean, Magic. That's what I'm guessing at this point. Ow. Did you tell me about that lettering book that you have, Jello Shaker, or did I just happen to get the same one as you? Um, I got this from Astra, so oh. I think you just happened to get this same book. What is there music? There is music. It's just really soft. Oh, no, it stopped. Just kidding. So you lied. You're lying to the people. I'm not. I mean, here. It started again. No one said anything. I figured they obviously just didn't want that music anymore. Alright, so there we go. Butterfly wings. Butterfly wings are kind of like fairy wings. We can make both kind of wings. And then we can see which one looks better. Now we're ready to tie this off. One of the things to remember too when you're putting thread on your needle is not to put too much on because it can get really confusing. And it can get like knotted and stuff. Oh, and I also had that problem once. You can time. hate your life. Yes, that's the mistake I make the most often is putting too much thread because I don't want to have to keep retying it. Yep. So. so what happens if you run out of thread in the middle of a thing? Oh, you just tie it and then you get new thread and, and start where you left off. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So this is eventually. So I have all four of these on here. So I can already see this indent is going to make it easier to shape this into like a circular thing. And this actually, I did it. I did the thing better on this side than the original couple of stitches. I can see the stitches, which is bad. But on the other ones, you can't really see them, so it's fine. Um half butterfly, half festive. Maybe we can give them a little flower crown too. That'll be cute. Why not just sew it a pouring crown? Pouring crowns for everyone. Exactly. Yeah. So, oh, this isn't like be enough, but I'm gonna use all of it because thread costs money. Um, no, no, tie knots is hard. There we go. All right, so we're only gonna be doing this for about another 10 minutes. I'm not gonna finish this up today. Um, you can kind of see what I've been doing though, I hope. Um, I'll try to give a, a easier way to see sort of this on the inside. So let's go over here. Yeah, I wanna be over here on this one. I don't really like the shading colors on this one. The, uh, the color I'm using too for this blizzard fleece is green tie-dye because I noticed the Kroby has some yellow on it, but it's like a faded into it yellow, and so I thought it'd be cool just to have something that's kind of like tie-dyed lighter colors to give sort of that appearance without having to like, like sew on different colors. So let me see if I can do this a little better. So you see, I'm kind of just going through here. I'm sort of doing a ladder stitch by going through one side to the other and then just going right back through here. I'm not going over it, I'm going through it, just along the edges here. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing here. And again, the smaller the stitches you make, the better it's gonna look, uh, but the more time it's gonna take. So, and the more sturdy it'll be, the more stitches they'll be less likely to become undone somehow along the way. It's amazing how that can happen. 
so easily if you're not careful. I actually have an issue adding appendages to my stuffed animals. I've noticed I'm doing something wrong. And before we get to the little arms and antenna on this guy, I'm going to look up a lot more tutorials because on both of the little um, woody plushies I made, their right arm fell off. <laughs> Not their Seriously? left arm. Both of them, the right arm fell off. And on a little like um, zebra sock plushie I made, the arm fell off. I was like, what is wrong with the right arms that I'm messing is up it on? Also, the right arm on the zebra one? Yeah. What the heck? I don't know. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. You have a so. mental block somewhere. Yeah. With right arms. None of them get right arms. I don't know. I so. guess it just didn't seem right to you. Oh, jello shaker. Should have just left it alone. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys. This is what you bring me here for. You invited me here. I did invite you. You here. wanted me here. I was like, I can't deprive the people of jello shaker. I mean, you can't. Nobody really noticed, but... That's not true. That's pretty true. No. All right. Let's go. More sewing. See, I can go faster, but then I get, like, stabby, and I stab myself. And I don't really feel like stabbing myself and bleeding all in front of all of you, and that seems like a terrible idea on, on every level it could be. Um, so, yeah. Thanks also... If you guys have any ideas for future stuffed animals you would like to see created. Or even just any tutorials in general, honestly. Yes. If there's anything you want to see us try, if it's within our power to do it, we will give it a shot. Accurate. Um, what I might do for future stuffed animal ones is create the pattern ahead of time and then put it in the, um, the description. So if you guys want to try your own, you can just use the same pattern I used and not have to worry about like measuring stuff out unless you want to make a different size, in which case you'll have to do measuring and math and it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. That's just how wow. sewing works. Wow. Unfortunately, there's math involved. It's the first Boom, part of sewing. Unless you really like math, in which case maybe it'll be the best part of sewing for you. Alright. Doo, doo, doo. Almost done with this guy. I'm like really straining the amount of thread on this needle too because I'm just like, I'm almost done with this one part and I don't want to start a new piece of thread. <laughs> so I'm just going to make it work. So what you're saying is that you are praying a little bit to make it work? I don't know what the... Was there a pun there? No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the yes. Not everything I say is a pun. I end up like cautiously looking for puns every. Ow. Ah. Okay. Please. Don't stab yourselves, guys. Please, no. Mm. That was painful. Alright, so why is the BGM in Forgotten Temple so glorious? Oh, but I really like the rose music. It's great. You're good. Thanks. I think I'm better when I'm not bleeding all over the place. I'm not bleeding here, I don't think. I just she hurt. Bleeding. Just where is it? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Probably. It is on the ground. Alright, so we have Five out of the eight, uh, five out of the eight, uh, stitches things we need to get done here. After that, we need to sew the entire, the two pieces of the face together, which is not happening today. Um, Maybe if you believe. So, just as, like, since we're almost, we only have about five minutes left, um, Next week, what we'll be doing is I will probably have finished most of the face except for the very end because I want you guys to see how to stuff it. I'll finish everything but like one of every part. So I'll show you how to do it and then I'll already have the rest of the stuff kind of done so that we don't have to watch me do this for many weeks on end. Oh, not next week. The week after next week. That's Unless right. I do it on Tuesday. Wouldn't be the next stuff Monday. Doesn't Tuesday have a lot of stuff though? Yeah. 
All right, so... So, two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, indeed. Um, two weeks from now, I'll finish this up. We'll have most of the stuff done, but I'll have, like, patterns ready and everything. This is just kind of give you a show of how we kind of start off making these stuffed animals. And then... Uh, Next week, it'll be showing you kind of like a, the in-between process because making sewing, what I've noticed, is just a lot of repetition. Um, Do this part, sew that part. Yeah. Like you've seen this whole time I've been doing the same thing. It's a lot of repetition. So um, I'll just be showing you sort of next time. Like if this was next week's, I would just be doing this once and the rest of them would have already been finished. Um, but I need to put the pattern together today, so I couldn't do that. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you guys the pattern next week for the rest of the body parts, but the, they'll already have been cut out because we already saw sort of how to cut out um, the patterns. So we don't need that. And then I'll provide a pattern in the description for the week after next. So if you want to try your own and you're having difficulty coming up with the pattern, you'll have something there. Um, but yeah. Be very careful, again, when sewing, not to stab yourself. It is no fun. No fun at all. I should have chosen something that wasn't green, but here we are. We should really figure that uh, chroma key business out. Chroma key yeah. Business. I agree with you 100%. But I have no idea how to fix it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out so we can have green stuff again. Oh, back in the day when there was green. What's green? I don't know what that is. Green. It's been so long we since I've seen it. We are blinded to the green on this live stream. Does that rhyme, sort of? Sort of. Like a slant rhyme, I almost, guess. An almost rhyme. An almost rhyme. All right. I like sewing, it just takes so much time that I haven't been doing it lately, other than to prepare for these. Because I know we've gotten a lot of people asking about like stuffed animals, and it's just so cool if you can make your own, you know? If I just keep trying this, if I, if I keep practicing on these Make Stuff Mondays, then by like next Christmas maybe we can give some away for prizes. Give them away anyway. No one wants this. <laughs> this is gonna look you like you want this, right, people? I'm sure you do. Those poor woodies. Harper Everyone was asking about them, and I was like, "Uh, they're falling apart, dude." I need to improve my skills so that they're worthy of being given away at like conventions and for holiday events. Yeah, you know what I did totally figure out those. Um. Someone sent those like box plushies that one year. I totally know how to make those now. Nice. It's really easy to make square shaped plushies. <laughs> Just gotta sew four pieces onto each other and then like glue a face on. It's awesome. All right, so we're gonna be, as soon as I finish this one, we're just gonna wrap this up because I have a meeting to go to. Are you meeting with me? Are we no. going to have a meeting? Or are we going to be friends? We're already friends. We don't need meetings to be friends. I really thought that you were going to say, why would I want to be friends with you? That's so mean. Uh, Your girlfriend would probably want that. <laughs> you haven't seen it finished yet, though. We'll, we'll wait. I feel like this is actually coming out pretty well, though, but we're still at the early stages. There's still sometimes, plenty of times for me to mess that up. Sometimes the worst feeling is starting something off and it looks really good, and then by the end of it, you go, where did I go wrong? What happened? What happened? But I'm going to go through that off screen. By the time I come back, it'll be all fixed and all the problems will have been resolved. Surely. 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 All right, so let's go ahead and cut this off. And so we have... We have this almost done. That was like an hour, and we have the pattern, half of one of the faces stitched, so it's actually the half of the face we want, and uh, a fourth of the other one done. 
After this, what we would do next is we'll, um, uh, on the outside, we'll have to turn these inside out and we're gonna be stitching these together along this side with using a, a back stitch, which is different from the ladder stitch. Um, and then we can see it in the, some of the other videos. And um, once we've done that, we'll leave a little bit of space open and we'll turn it inside out and then we'll stuff it. Um, for next week, it'll mostly, mostly be stitched up, but I'll leave a little bit open and then show you guys how we're gonna stuff it and then sew it up so it's hard to see where that like um, outside sewing is. And then we'll finish up everything, basically. Um, so thank you guys all for joining us. I hope you guys learned something if you're into sewing or interested in I sewing. I learned that you shouldn't keep the thread too long on the needle because you're just asking for a hard time. Also, sew slowly even if it's taking a long time so you don't stab yourself. That's patience, what I learned friends. Today. Patience. Um, all right. So tune in in two weeks. Um, let's for see what makes what stuff day stuff. of the Monday? Which uh, the twenty twenty third. So on the 23rd, we'll be finishing this up. Um, we'll be going through like four other steps just to kind of like uh, show you how to, how to do a couple more things and then we'll be putting everything together, sewing everything together. Are you gonna be doing any of the work off stream? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the repetitive work off stream. You should take a couple pictures of those and be like, this is me working on. Yeah, yada, yada. and if you're interested in seeing that, follow me on Twitter, I'll post them on my, my CM Twitter. My Sam Dragonlark Twitter. You should also post them on the Rose Twitter. And on the Rose Twitter. I'll retweet them on the Rose Twitter. I'm not sure about the, the Facebook. I said on everything. I don't know about the Facebook. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, um, tune in next time for the conclusion of our Kurobi Step Animal. And have a fantastic rest of your day. Woo!